welcome back to today's video. It has been such a long time since we sat down and spoke like this. So today I'm in my bedroom and I have a huge makeup haul that I want to share with you guys. Uh, I was facing some troubles with the audio of my camera. So now I have an awesome new Rode mic. So I'm hoping that all my audio troubles will be gone. And do leave me a comment below and tell me if you found the audio of this video to be okay. So without further ado, let's get into today's makeup haul. I had lots of friends uh, go back and forth between the US. So I have a whole bunch of makeup and beauty items that I managed to get from the US. And then there were also all of these new launches from PAC that they sent over. So I'm just going to share all of these with you. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the hair stuff first. So I was very uh, intrigued by this new brand called Way. Uh, this is Jen Atkins um, hair care brand. Jen Atkin, as we all know, is uh, a very, very famous hairstylist and she is the hairstylist to the Kardashians as well. So I wanted to try a couple of things from Way. And the first thing I got was the Way hair texturizing spray, which I've used a whole lot. Uh, I believe that this is a cross between a dry shampoo and a hairspray so it gives you that hold but at the same time it gives you a lot of bouncy volume as well and uh, I basically just spray it uh, in my hair and just feather it and it kind of just bounces out the whole look very very nicely uh, then the other thing I got was the way smoothing shampoo and I do have uh, slightly frizzy and wavy hair and I just wanted to try try and see if this would kind of calm it down. I don't like to use a lot of conditioner. It makes my hair very, very heavy and oily very quickly. So I'm going to try this out and uh, maybe get back to you guys about it. And then I also got the very exciting and much awaited uh, Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This is what the palette looks like. So this is definitely one of the most unique palettes I have come across in the recent times. Um, not so much for uh, everybody, but if you're a professional or a major makeup enthusiast and makeup holder, then you definitely want to add this in your collection because um, it's nothing like anything I've seen before. I just want to mention that I really, really love the packaging of this as well. It reminds me of my school time pencil box a little bit, but uh, it's really sturdy and I'm not worried about its durability. So Naked Heat was the warm tone palette I got. I also wanted a new cool tone palette. So I went for the Morphe 25B palette. The 25B or the bronze mocha palette looks very, very interesting. I haven't started using it yet, but uh, I remember I was doing a makeup workshop and one of uh, the girls I was doing it for uh, brought this palette and I was completely in love and I was like, I definitely need to have this. The price point is amazing because you get 25 shades for only $18. So I'm really excited to break into this and try it out. So those were the two full-fledged palettes that I got. I also wanted one single eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. In my modern renaissance palette, there's this one shade called Buon Fresco, which I've literally cleaned up completely now. I have used up all of it. And uh, that's exactly what this shade looks like, the Dusty Rose. I love this shade for my transition. Even the shade called Nooner in the Naked Tree palette is very, very similar. And this is one of my most favorite cool toned shades for the transition. So I practically use it on everyone and I run out of it in my every palette. So I thought I'll get another uh, single from Anastasia. This was like $12, but totally worth it. So sometime back, Stila launched uh, these Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows which were all over Instagram and YouTube and I really, really wanted to try them out. So I first went and bought the shade called Rose Gold Retro. I used this in my Rakhi video as well and uh, really, really liked how it goes on and just looks super beautiful. You can even sheer it out and make it look um, not so glittery but if you want it to look quite full on, you can just pack it on and not blend it out too much. It looks brilliant. So once I found myself super impressed with that rose gold retro shade, I also ordered the Stilla in Smoky Storm. 
So predominantly both of these glitters have a silvery glitter to them but Rose Gold Retro has a more pinkish hue and Smoky Storm has a little more of that uh, smoky golden effect. I've been wanting to add some new orange and peach correctors to my professional kit and I tried the Cover FX uh, Correct Click Stick at Sephora in Delhi. They did not have the orange color in stock at the time so I asked my friend to get it from the US and uh, this is what it looks like it's like a lipstick sort of uh, a packing and uh, i'm really liking this i've been using it on myself it's very easy to blend and uh, it doesn't take a lot of covering up the orange corrector you know when you use la girl or some of those other brands like krylin which really just leave heavy orange uh, pigment under your eyes then you have to pack on a lot of concealer to cover that up uh, with this you don't have to do that so much then I also got the Bobbi Brown peach corrector I've never tried this but a lot of my friends have really good things to say about it so I decided I'll give it a go and again this doesn't seem too orange it's like a light peach shade so you can really just use this and maybe even put on your foundation directly you don't need a lot of concealer to cover up the oranginess from this so I really wanted to try this powder puff called the Forever Puff and uh, it says it can be used for foundations and things like that but I'm just going to use it for powdering and uh, this says that it's made of high quality specially designed uh, superior foam resistant to bacteria and fatigue it's machine washable and a dryable facial puff so it was pretty pricey it was like 13 dollars so i'm excited to see what this does that the regular powder puffs don't so i also called for some essentials that i needed to replenish in my kit the basic duo eyelash glue the beauty blender you can get these things very easily in india guys but i prefer to get them from certain stores in the us where i can uh, avail a pro discount so that's why i got these also from america to make sure I have enough mascara for the wedding season, I uh, call for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise which is supposed to be a dupe of the Too Faced but I don't think so. And then I also got the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara which has been one of my favourites. Uh, I remember using it a whole lot like two years back and then I switched to the eye opening mascara from Bobbi Brown. But I thought I'll give this a go again. I also wanted to replenish my Holy Grail Primer which is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is the one with SPF 30 PA++ and um, it's a 50ml bottle. It lasts me like good 8-10 months, maybe even more. I don't use this at night. I only use this in the daytime when I'm going out, uh, you know, on a hot summer day, maybe very sunny day because it has SPF. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, but it really hydrates my skin. So when it comes to skincare, I am a complete Clinique junkie and uh, the price point at which Clinique is sold in India is a lot higher than uh, what you can get it at abroad. So I was on the Sephora website and I came across this Clinique set and I was blown away. Uh, this has the Clinique uh, cleanser, the dramatically different moisturizing lotion and the toner. So step one, two, three and their travel size minis. So I was like, wow, this stuff was only for $66 if you went to the Clinique store in India and bought all of these full size a it would cost a whole lot more and you would never get the travel size minis but uh, this set had everything that i wanted and i asked my friend if she could get it this was a whole lot of weight to carry but she was sweet enough to get it so thank you so much bani that you did that and um, yeah i think this is going to sort me out for a while it's going to sort out my skincare regimen this is what i've been using in the past I did have the minis as well from my last trip to the US but I ran out of them. So I'm really happy that I got this. So while I was still on the Sephora website trying to decide which new primer I wanted to try and I couldn't quite make up my mind, I came across the Sephora Favorites Prime Set Go Limited Edition Kit which was like an 8 piece kit of uh, little sample size, deluxe sample uh, sized primers. 
so I decided I'm going to try those out these were for $42 and uh, it had a couple of uh, different primers and sprays and things like that so the first one in here is a 30 ml uh, bottle of the Smashbox photo finish primer which I've heard a whole lot about but I really wanted to try it out I've been wanting to try the Becca first light priming filter as well the claims of this primer are that you know it gives you that glow that you get right after a workout so i decided this would be a good time to try it this is a 6 ml tube of the primer and then there was this uh, blur stick from milk makeup which you basically use to blur out your pores and stuff and you just swipe it across uh, these areas where you have larger pores and it shrinks them makes the skin texture look more refined. The other 5ml uh, sample of primer that I got was the Too Faced Primed and Peachy. This is a cooling matte skin perfecting primer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. I'm yet to try this. I don't have uh, oily skin so maybe I'll try this on someone who does. There was also the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This primer has an SPF of 15. I've again heard a whole lot about it but I've never tried it so I'm excited to try this. This set also came with a 30ml bottle of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, Marine Boosting Mist. Now this is uh, not a primer, this is basically a pre-moisturizer spray. It's like a toner maybe, it smells like Sprite. I really really like it, I've used this before and I was really happy to receive a generous 30ml bottle of this. Then there was the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray which I've used a couple of times. This is like the finest spray mist that you can get and um, I'm not sure if it's very illuminating, I will get back to you on that but uh, another 30ml bottle which I was very happy about. The best and most exciting thing about this set was the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in a small travel size this is 10 grams it came with a cute little powder puff of its own so guys those were all the things i got from the states and before i jump into uh, all the stuff that was sent to me from pack i'm going to show you a couple of things that i bought here in the motherland the first one being the nika foundation the Nika Skin Genius Sculpting and Hydrating Foundation. I ordered this online on the Nika website, of course, for 575 rupees. So I'm in the shade 02 Almond Beige. In case you're wondering what your Nika shade is, I am usually between a MAC NC30 and NC35. NC30 is a bit too light for me and NC35 becomes a bit darker. So I'm right in between those two. So if you can relate with that color reference, then the Nika Almond Beige 02 will be just right for you. I am planning on a detailed review of this foundation, so uh, leave me a comment below and tell me if you want to see it. So while I was on the Nika website uh, buying the Skin Genius Foundation, I also really wanted to try the new Nika masks. These are the Dear Packer masks. At the time, I believe uh, there was an offer that you could buy seven of them for 500, which I did, and I'm only left with three now. So I really enjoyed using these and at 100 bucks a pop, you must give them a go. So recently the LA Shield SPF 40 sunscreen gel came highly recommended. So I bought it uh, at my local chemist. Now this is an SPF 40 PA++ oil free sunscreen, which actually feels a lot like primer because uh, when you apply it, it has that nice dimethicone texture. Uh, it may feel oily when you apply it, but it's actually that silicone and dimethicone primer-like texture to it. And um, this is what I've been using as sunscreen. I had also been meaning to try the new brow pencil from Sugar. This is the Arch Arrival Brow Definer in the shade 02 Taupe Tom. I believe they have another shade called Jerry Brown which would be better if you had more brown hair or lighter texture of hair. Because I have darker hair, I wanted to try something which was a more darker grayish brown so which is why I tried this shade Taupe Tom. This has my favorite angled brow pencil on one end and the other end is a spoolie. And I think this was for about 400 something rupees if I'm not mistaken. Oh boy, this is becoming one long haul video. Let me quickly jump into the pack stuff now before my camera battery actually dies. Uh, so the first thing and the most exciting new launch from pack is their 
brow palette so this is what the eyebrow palette looks like and uh, each one of these colors can be bought individually i believe this is obviously for professional use there is a wax in here and then there are these lighter colors which are great for blonde models or you know clients who have blonde hair and uh, this shade right here is called ash brown this is one of my favorites i've been using it a whole lot i am very impressed with this eyebrow palette well done pack they also sent me the canvas shadow primer uh, this is what the packaging looks like so this is a 6 ml bottle which costs 695 rupees this is their new micro finish makeup fixer spray so this is a 120 ml bottle which is for 850 rupees and what i find very impressive about this is that they've done a great job giving us a pressurized container with the nicest mist i'll just show you guys how this works i'm not wearing any makeup setting spray today so i'll just spray this now it's a really really fine mist you guys and it doesn't leave the makeup blotchy like how the other you know like a mac fix plus gives a very blotchy spray this is very very fine so they also sent over these clean slate wipes which were for 595 rupees and i believe there are 100 of them i'm not sure it cleanses the skin moisturizes it they're ultra soft and pleasantly scented I believe these are specially made to remove the pack retro matte liquid lipstick because we all know how difficult those can be to remove so they sent over these three eyeshadow palettes now this one and this one both of them are called number one i am not sure what is going on with the numbering and uh, this is called number two out of these i have tried this one right here this has a huge black eyeshadow and the ones above here are unreal you guys these are exactly like the huda beauty textured rose gold shadows you have to use your fingers to apply them and they are super foil creamy glitter they are not like the regular powder eyeshadows guys these are super creamy and um, gel like almost the other two palettes i'm yet to try uh, this palette also has some very nice interesting colors and this one right here is a beautiful uh, palette with all matte warm browns i received these six brushes which literally set my heart racing i find pack brushes super exciting guys for the price at which they produce this quality is absolutely phenomenal the first one is the pack 256 which is a duo fiber large fluffy brush and this super unique and super cute pack 258 fan brush i've never seen something like this before this is the pack 274 um, eyeshadow fluffy brush it is made of synthetic fibers really really soft and amazing to work with then there was the pack 255 brush which is another large fluffy duo fiber brush probably just to apply powder or to maybe dust off some fallout this is the pack 353 and it has a white center i'm pretty sure this is to buff in your foundation i find this brush a little too heavy to work with the handle is too large and bulky it didn't need to be this huge my last and favorite brush from pack is the pack 272 this is an angled synthetic brush with uh, very densely packed bristles you can use this to apply and blend your concealer under the eye or apply your cream or liquid contour uh, it's pretty fine but not too fine at the same time so i really like this oh boy that was a whole lot of stuff i am so tired and that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this makeup haul personally. These are my favorite types of videos to watch. So I hope you liked this. Leave me a comment below and tell me what else would you like to see. And if you would like me to review any of these products or create looks with them. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.